Let's take a brief look at lambda expressions and the supplier class. All right, welcome back to the Java introduction for Minecraft and Hightail modding. And in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a tentative look at the supplier class. A supplier is a lambda expression. And the general idea of a lambda expression looks like this. I will just quickly write a comment here. So we have, for example, a parameter and then an arrow here and then some sort of expression at the end. Now, the easiest and simplest lambda expression is a supplier. And you can see it right here. We have an empty parameter, basically. So this is, would be representative of a method, for example, that has no parameters in its parentheses. And then you can see, and then we're calling the local date time now. Now, the example here is actually really freaking cool. And you can immediately see why a supplier might sometimes be useful versus just saving, you know, the time right now. So what do we have? Well, we have the date time right now and then also the date in a supplier. We're going to output both of those and these should both be the same. Then we're going to wait. Then we're going to wait for three seconds. And then afterwards, well, what are they going to be? So let's just run this. So you can see they're basically the same. They have like one tick between them. But the most important thing here is the seconds. So you can see all of a sudden, after waiting three seconds, the supplier is three seconds later than the actual date time. Because the date time is cached once and then we have it. While when you call the get on the supplier, then this is executed. So a supplier basically allows you, in this case, to shift the execution until you actually call this dot get. While this here is immediately executed in line 10, this here is only executed when I call the dot get. That's the general idea here. Of course, there's way more to it, especially in other well, functional interfaces. So that's basically the idea. Uh, lambda expressions are functional interfaces. There are a bunch more. So you can use them in some methods, but especially for Minecraft modding with Forge, the suppliers are used all over the place simply to ensure that certain things are already loaded. So for example, you can imagine maybe the daytime, you know, local now, let's just think about it like this is not yet loaded, like we have not yet loaded the time. As soon as we have reached somewhere where we call the get, then we actually have loaded it and that's going to be fine. That's sort of one idea. I just wanted to show you a very brief introduction of this. One more thing, you can also have different, you know, functional suppliers. So I can actually middle mouse button click on here and I can actually take a look at all of the functional interfaces as you can see. You can see there's a bunch of them and there are, you know, they are all, well, interesting. So they have different, you know, different types. So you can also have something like, you know, you can have a parameter in here and then you can return something or you can have, you know, no parameter and just return something that would then be, this would be a supplier, right? And then you can also have something like a consumer, which then would of course make sense if it consumes something. So you have an N and it just doesn't return anything, right? So no return here and stuff like that. So there are a bunch of them and we'll actually see a few of them within Minecraft modding itself as well. However, at that time, usually, if you sort of understand this, this is a lambda expression, and this is a supplier, then you should be fine. All of the inner workings of it were not necessarily needed. That's something that's definitely for a little bit more of an advanced Java class, possibly, or it might also be something that just in general for Minecraft and probably also high tail modding, it's really not needed at this point. And a really good resource on, you know, when we should use suppliers in Java 8 is basically this question. I will link this in the description below as well. You can see I basically, you know, took a little bit of this code here. So all credits goes to this question. I just highly recommend taking a look at this because basically there's a few more things explained here. So it's actually pretty cool and awesome to check out. Whatever the case may be, I hope you found this useful and you learned something new and I'll see you in the next tutorial. So yeah. <laughs>